Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, we finally threw Casper a birthday party and aged him up and I told you I was going to give him a makeover. So I did just that. I used a lot of stuff from Get to Work, like that beanie that I gave him for his everyday outfit. And I sort of kept like his color scheme, you know, with the darker colors and the burgundy-ish colors and his glasses and his hair color so I hope you like what I did with his outfits his new outfits and oh he's so adorable he's now a teen going to high school I even changed his room so I, I kept the darker colors uh you know with this outfit and stuff anyway I got rid of the activity table and the chemistry table because unfortunately he can't use them anymore I didn't really get rid of them they're in their family inventory because we might have a new addition or two added to the family um soon but i'll talk a little bit more about that later in this video for now i'll show you his room <laughs> so here's what his new room looks like he has um this new bookshelf and i didn't even need to use a cheat to place this plant in it either it just like sat there which is cool so uh, but the backpack above it i did have to use the move objects on cheat and then he has a fishbowl with the tetra which i bought because i didn't want to go out and like catch a fish just to put it in that fishbowl <laughs> we have uh his drawings and then the picture that his dad took in the last video for the memories and then we have benny bones here from get to work and i chose like the zombie sickly looking one because it, it looked the coolest to me. Uh, I'll show you the other presets for this guy though because it, <laughs> it's super neat. There's another one that would look good in Casper's room too, which is this one. But here are the other ones. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so, so cute. And then over on this side of the room, we have his new bed, which is really comfortable. And like almost everyone in this family had this bed. But it's just like the, I think it's like the most comfortable single person bed and here's a an observatory print i believe a bedside table with an alien dead red coral just to keep him company at night time and dino i couldn't get rid of dino dino is, is so cute even though casper can't even talk to dino anymore he is still good friends with him um but when the new addition or two is added to the family dino will have a new person to talk to i don't know okay <laughs> Uh, we still have our, our like Harry Potter poster on the wall and then he has a desk now to do his homework on just tested it he finished his homework and his and his extra credit work so that's what his new high school homework looked like Ooh, looks like here's his old grade school homework and then a whole bunch of like stuff I didn't know if like it would work because you know there's like a bunch of stuff over here but there's enough space for him to do his homework you know and then his focus lamp which will come in handy for when he goes to school and he needs to be focused you know and then I, I filled up the space here because it looked so plain with nothing on the wall I'll probably remove this and put up a space print or two or observatory prints. I don't know why this is important, but this is from Get to Work. And then this is a crystal thing, which actually comes in some other colors in case you're interested because the other colors look really awesome as well. They're pretty, but this one's my favorite one. I don't know why. It kind of matches this one a little bit. And uh, this is from the base game. So yeah, I hope you like what I did with his room and his outfits. I think it looks really nice in here. And I like that, that I don't know, I think their house is coming along nicely. I think it looks really good. It's, but compared to day one, I mean, come on, it looks great. It looks very homely. They all have their own personal styles in their own rooms. I think it looks, it looks really nice, especially compared to day one. <laughs> I mean, they barely had anything in their house. And I also got them a motion game rig. What the heck is this thing called? The, the motion monitor gaming mat. That's what it's called. So this is for Casper. I'm going to have him play Blick Block because he needs to do this for... He doesn't need one of these for his aspiration, but um, he needs to play video games for five total hours. I could get him a, a computer, actually. We could do with getting another computer, but I don't really want to. So I'm not... I, mm, maybe. I mean, we have 11,238 simoleons, so I could do that. It's giving me a geek lesson. I don't want a geek lesson, okay? I gave him that trait. I know what it's about. 
Uh, but if we have to practice programming for five total hours, which is why that could be handy for having another computer. Uh, did I already say that? And play video games for a total of five hours. We've already done it for one hours. One hour. We could use our phone for that, but this will be better because you could do it for a long time, as you can see. And then eventually we'll be able to play more games. And this thing is just so cool. It costs like 3500 Worth every simoleon. Uh, but yeah, look at that. It's gonna have to like jump and stuff. Um, but this is really neat. Okay, Leela. So, uh, before I talk to you about my plans, uh, which have been talked about since day one ish of this family, or like week one ish, Taryn, have you are you repairing this? No, don't take a shower just yet. We need to, oh, Taryn, I gotta take care of your mood bars. Okay, eat some cereal and then we will take a, take a, no, not take a steamy shower. Take a brisk shower. Where is it? Take a brisk shower. Tabitha, go over here and just make a flirty painting. Jerry, Jerry, you didn't even do what I was telling you to do. Comedy, compose a long routine. Okay, I want them to do these, like, daily task things. Leela is going to go to work today. She's going to get a promotion. I'm going to have her do a daily task of mixing drinks. So, I was reading the comments on the last video. I haven't responded to them yet. Don't worry. I was reading them on my phone. When I read them on my phone, I don't respond to them because I have, like, these stubby little um, hands, and I've accidentally deleted some of them before, and I just don't want to do them. I don't, don't want to do that again from my phone. So, I wait until I'm on my computer or a laptop to respond to them. So, that's why I haven't yet. Don't worry. I will. <laughs> um, don't drink that. No, you have to do this. You go to work in four hours. Um, so I was reading them and I totally get it. Like everyone is, you know, finding love or, or like Ellie and Taryn have had cute little Casper and Leela is over here. She's in love with her work, you know, basically. And I don't find anything wrong with that. She's been working really hard, mixing drinks, trying to get promotions. And her work hours are just... Ter it's it's not they're not terrible you know because it's her thing come on i wanted to sell that <laughs> but it's just compared to everyone else's she works later and so it's just i want to say it's inconvenient sort of but it's just mixed up i guess i don't know anyway so she's basically in love with her work and she spends more time you know working hard therefore she's not really she hasn't really been trying to find love but um from like the first week i was talking to a lot of you saying that leela ah oh, she would look great stop drinking them i'm going to kick your little butt oh no she's she's completed her daily task okay you can drink this last one anyway she would look great with like a little lady on her arms you know with the girlfriend and i totally agree she would look great with one and so uh, and I also have been wanting to have someone adopt because that'd be cute. We would be going into another part of the game, you know, because exploring that adoption process because I, I haven't adopted in this game yet. Oh, are you kidding me? First are you in the last video, these two appliances break the, the refrigerator, I think broke before. I think I just replaced it or something. What? How could you don't want to drink this one now? Come on, Leela. <laughs> All right. When you're done, we'll go ahead and, um, sell this to collector so the thing is though that we can only have eight people in this household and a lot of you were saying that there's one side that wants Leela to find love you know get married and have kids and then there's another side that want Jerry and Tabitha to have a kid and to have um Taryn and Elliot have another kid or to have Casper get married later, later. But I don't think Casper, unfortunately, I don't think Casper is going to like really, did he complete this? Oh, he's almost done with that. Okay, once he gets five hours, then we'll stop him because he doesn't really need to continue doing that. I can't believe he's almost done. So Casper, unfortunately, I don't think the series is going to go on long enough for him to get married. So Casper, I'm sorry. Maybe you'll get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That could be a possibility. <laughs> a lot of you are saying Alexander Goth. That would be cute. I agree. <laughs> that would be adorable. So, the options are Leela finding a love interest um, and marrying her, adding her to the family, and then adopting a child. That could be 7th and 8th. 
Or it could be Leela finding a love interest and just having her as a girlfriend, but adopting, so that could be seventh, and never, you know, adding an eighth person to the family, and having Jerry and Tabitha have a baby, and that could be the eighth. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Because I'm really bad at explaining things. So, I mean, it could be Leela adopting, having the seventh person added to the family, and Jerry and Tabitha having a baby, adding an eighth person to the family. You know what I'm saying? So, I know, I'm, I think, I feel, in my head that's making sense, but I'm explain. I might be explaining it in a really weird way. Oh, are you, are you cleaning or are you repairing? <laughs> Okay, so this is broken, and you are cleaning it. Elliot, why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> All right, I need to have Taryn do something. Taryn, please. Taryn, please. All right, and then once you're done, you're going to mop this up. You know what? Let's have Taryn... Um, or did we finish? Let's have Taryn. Is she in a good mood? We're going to continue upgrading this, and then we're going to explore space. I think that sounds good, right? And we're going to sell this. We should actually be um, getting the parts from these. We could buy the parts online. I need to fill this space up up here because they keep placing stuff. And that's getting on my nerves. You need to stop doing that, all of you. Maybe I'll just put like a fossil up there. Can fossils fit up there? No. Oh, let's open this. Uh, have we had that one? No, we haven't had that one. Oh, DJ Candy. Look at how cute. Okay, now we filled up that space. Let me read through these. We've got an upgrade part. Lila's going to work soon. Jerry just finished writing the being left at the park comedy routine. Sweet. And Elliot reached level 8 of the fitness skill. He can now perform the epic workout on the weight machine. Ooh, reached a video gaming level 2. Oh, Casper did. He can now discuss game strategy with other sims. And Taryn upgraded. Uh, or, no, she repaired the thing the radio probably finally i wish we could upgrade the radio like why can't we what's her skill anyway level six are you kidding me you know how many things we've upgraded you would think that it would have gotten or like repaired we need to get her to level 10 so we could go and explore that other thing you know that other secret place mm. did he do this oh he completed that so we can practice programming now for five hours so let's go over here and practice programming yeah let's do it Oh, and then we could like hack stuff too eventually as well. So Taryn is going to go and work on her thing and then we will explore space. I won't have her do it uh, right after because I want to watch her go to space. So we'll have her continue installing ion cannon defense system and then once I remember, I will have her explore space. We'll have her take care of her mood bars a little bit actually because I don't want her to be in too bad of a mood. We'll have her eat a quick meal as well and then maybe, um, no, not turn off. Dang it. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tabitha. I, I didn't uh winter holiday why aren't there that many stations on this we got this as a reward like why the heck oh change station pop i guess i don't know <laughs> i know some radios you can listen to other things but there aren't that many options let's move this can't we... okay put that in there okay elliot go do some epic workouts Epic workout, push the limits. This thing is so cute. It doesn't have a, no, it does not. It doesn't have a, an aura. Casper's new skill in programming will allow him to hack and practice programming. The higher the level of the skill, the more hacking opportunities will emerge. So Leela is at work. She's going to, should we have her work hard? Like, is that necessary? Because, I mean, you, you know what? She's going to work hard. We need this promotion. She's level seven. Her next promotion, chief drinks operator. Chief drink operator. So Taryn, can you hurry it up? Oh, she's almost at level, what is that? Of her rocket science skill. This is super exciting. Eight. Wow, eight. Wow, that's amazing. She needs to be at level 10 of the logic skill and then she can actually, oh, she got it. And then she can um, complete her aspiration. And then actually... Elliot, if he got to level 10 of, a fitness, of his fitness skill, he could complete his aspiration. So let's see if we could do that. Maybe. It's going to take a while. Is this really your epic workout? I thought there was going to be like some Rocky music playing or something. You know? I used to love those movies. I would like binge watch them. Reach programming level 2. He can now make plugins. He can actually make a decent amount of money from... Uh, 
what? Oh, that was in the Lizard Room. I just got so confused. He can make um, a lot of money from hacking well, with this skill, the programming her. skill. So she can now build an upgrade faster. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, hurry up, Taryn. I, I keep calling her Tabitha. I try it hard not to, but I mean, it just happens, you know? I feel like it's inevitable. All right, Jerry. Go ahead, go to sleep. I won't be angry. Where the heck did Tabitha go? Oh, she's playing. All right. Tabitha, you're adorable. We need to break it off with your other lover. I don't know how... She's just acquaintances with this guy, but for some reason, he's still... Um... I don't know. We'll break it off with this one, eventually. Maybe in the next video, we'll be like, nah. Nah, this can't happen. Let's see if maybe we can... We'll select a new aspiration. See, I want to know if there's one that we could just do, you know, like that, or one that we've already done that I don't have to work towards. Creativity. Painter extraordinaire. Paint for five hours. Sell three paintings. Complete three emotional paintings. Maybe we could just do this one. I know a lot of you are saying to change her aspiration to like the other romantic one, but you still have to like go on dates and I don't really want to do that. Let's just change it to this. Why the heck not? Um, start three paintings while inspired. Sure. I mean, you just have to start it, so... Let's, um, start this one. And then we'll, um, get rid of it. <laughs> Scrap painting. And start painting. Boom! How easy was that? Scrap. Sell three paintings to collectors. Alright, we'll do that later. So I don't really want to have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have to work on Tabitha's aspiration because I didn't know how much longer this series was going to go on for. So I didn't want to have to worry about it. So Tabitha's thing, I mean Taryn's thing, is now done. So let's have her go and explore space. And she's in a bit, she's a bit tired, but that, that shouldn't matter, right? Maybe it will, a little bit. But I want Leah to come back home. She might come home with the promotion. She's She has to go to the bathroom. Um... Oh, but it looks, it's a gold check mark, so I think that means that she will be coming home with the promotion. And I have her work hard because I know that, I mean, I know that she can do it. <laughs> that sounds like really cheesy, but she's so good at it. She's completed her aspiration, and the mixology thing is, like, it was my fave, one of my favorite skills in The Sims 3. I'm not comparing this to The Sims 3 or anything, but... It's just so much fun, you know, and Leela, I'm a bit biased, but she's like my favorite Sim, I'm sorry. Technical troubles, Taryn smacks her comm system again. Ever since she arrived in space, she's been experiencing tons of interference in her radio communications. She's about to phone tech support when she sees it. The fifth solar flare in the last half hour, that explains it. Taryn decides she'd better go investigate. Check it out. I don't really have another choice, do I? Um, but I've been, I just like focusing on this and trying to get all of this done because it's really exciting to me and I want her to do really well at work. And I mean, I don't find it wrong, you know, being in love with what you do and wanting to excel. <laughs> Fun with the sun. Taryn is nearing the sun when she spies an immense fl uh, flying saucer <gasps> with a jolly looking alien wedged into the cockpit. The alien is manipulating some kind of phase beam to fire asteroids directly into the sun. Oh my goodness. As each asteroid hits, the sun flares with and the alien laughs. What should Taryn do? Reason with the alien, threaten with cannons. Well, I mean... <laughs> threatened cannons <laughs> duh um but i mean i totally get that leela wants a little lady um because that was the plan from like the beginning right we want her to to have a a love interest you know it isn't easy to get the alien's attention until Taryn uses her iron cannons to blast some rocks from its stash. Spook the alien gets away in his flying saucer, squealing at the top of its lung thingies. <laughs> the interference stops and Taryn gets some free space rocks for her trouble. Return home. Sweet. Taryn found a space rock. And, oh, I read that. Um, Tabitha reached video gaming level two and acquired the programming skill. Oh, I read that too. Oh, wow. Casper reached programming level three. He can now mod games. Oh, Taryn has returned 
She has safely returned from exploring the cosmos. All right. Um, but yeah, Leela, you know, she probably does want love because she's worked so hard to get to where she is. So she might want to like fall in love with the right young thing. So I don't know if we have um, anyone, maybe Dina. Ooh, but they have the same hairstyle. So, <laughs> but that might not matter. Um, Zoe, we've met Zoe like a long time ago. Summer, Summer was always there at the corner of her eye, you know. Summer, um, might have been interested in Jerry, but Summer, who knows? Who freaking knows? Let me know. Let me know. What do you think? Should we go out looking for a partner? Um, but like I said, they don't have to be added to the family. They can just, these puddles are never going to go away, are they? How do we get rid of them? I can't delete them. I've tried. Trust me. But I don't know if that's a possibility. <laughs> do we go out looking? I don't really know. Okay, what did we get? But I do know that I want, um, her to adopt. Like, that is for sure going to happen. And, um... Taryn and Elliot, I mean, they've had a kid, so they don't really have to have another one. So it's either Jerry and Tabitha have one and T Leela adopts or Leela adopts and gets married. So it's either or. That was, wow, that was like a really fast explanation of that. We got a common space rock. Heck, oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> look at how freaking pretty it is. Whoa. Whoa, it's on like a stand and everything. Holy moly. How, where do we even put this thing? Where do we put this? I want to put this in Casper's room. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Um, I don't know where to put it. Like, where... Should we get rid of our stupid fish? I don't want this fish anymore. I'm going to get rid of this. Fish. Sorry, fish. Tetra. We don't need you. We have a space rock. Check this out. Taryn, you are the coolest mom. You bring back the bestest gifts ever. Can we enlarge this thing? I mean, I don't really want to. I don't see the need, but I mean, how cool does it look enlarged? Oh, very. <laughs> very. <laughs> that is great. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. So what does it say about it in our collector's thing? Does it even say anything about it? Yeah. Oh, wow, we've got one of four. Oh, <gasps> this adorable little space rock often thrives best luxuriating. Luxuriating. <laughs> In the light of distant of a distant star or desk lamp. Oh, wait, what? Should I put it under a light? I mean, does it really? Does it matter? I don't know. All right, so Leela's going to get home soon, and I think Taryn. What am I doing? Why do I keep going back and forth? Taryn, you need to sleep. I am so sorry. You need to go to bed. <gasps> promotion! Oh, good job, Leela. She works so hard. She deserves everything. Okay, she's been promoted to chief, chief drink operator. She will now make an additional 47 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 111 per hour. She's also received the following bonus, 2,559 simoleons. And she got a... I'm saying, where are you going? You, you no, 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 no. They always want to, I don't get why they always want to change, um, rooms. So she received the, wait, what? Uh, Vin Vinoteca bottle rack and write barcode on the computer. My goodness. Why am I struggling? <laughs> her next shift is Thursday at 4 PM. Oh, did her hours change? They did. Oh, sweet. She doesn't work so late anymore. I was just like, was I like t kind of complaining about that a little bit? <laughs> she works from Thursday to Sunday. Nice. So she needs to get to charisma level six, which is good because I have, I need to turn, um, all the, I need to turn all the lights back on. Good. Okay. There we go. I, you know what? I think I am going to buy him a computer. So let's do that. Should we get him a good quality computer or should I move the old computer up here? This is what happened uh, with me. Like if <laughs> my family got good computers, I got the old one, which I am not complaining about because that was awesome. I was so happy to have a computer. So let's get a really good quality one. Should I get this $10,000 one? Why not? Look at how cool that is. Like look at the Ghost Rider. Did you ever watch that show? Do you even know what I'm talking about? It was a good show. Should we get the yellow one? 10,000 spoilings, like heck yeah. 
Which one looks better? Oh, that one. I thought it was like orange. Doesn't it kind of look orange? Looks like sunset orange. <gasps> look at this! She has her own like wine stash. I'm not even going to put that. No one's going to be able to share this with Leela because she has worked very hard for it. Whoa. I need to turn the lights back on because I want to be able to see. How do we turn turn on this light? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, let's look at the different colors though. Uh, That one's nice. Ooh, that one looks really nice. I mean, I kind of like the red though. I think that one looks best. This barrel thing. Ooh. I think I like that one. I'm sticking with that one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, should I move this? I kind of want to move this a little bit. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let me know what you'd like me to do in the next one. Tell me what you think of the whole baby love interest situation thing. Tell me who you think would be a good match for Leela. Whether they're in our relationship panel or if you've seen some cute looking sims or good matches for Leela in the sim universe out there that maybe I haven't seen before. Tell me where they live. I'll go stalk them. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.